Hello there. I'm just doing my shopping. Tubby the robot, proof that one man's trash is another's treasure. A new transformer. Just what I need. Tubby's made from recycled material, material which would have been landfill if reverse garbage hadn't stepped in. We've been amazed at the, the variety and quality of things that are being sent to landfill in Brisbane. There's just, it's just quite amazing, the, the kind of stuff that people have been throwing out. Reverse Garbage is a non-profit cooperative based in Brisbane. Each week it collects up to two tonnes of goods from more than 100 local companies, materials that would have otherwise gone to the rubbish tip. They normally have to pay um, landfill fees to dump the material, so we pick it up for free. So um, it provides a service to industry as well and it, it stops those valuable materials from going to landfill. We get lots of school groups and craft groups that come in to use it for art and craft applications. We, we also get a lot of people coming in on a Saturday morning that are looking for you know, a bit of plastic or a bit of steel or timber or something for an odd job around the house or some tiles. And it's almost like an alternative hardware shop in a way. John Hepburn and seven friends set up the co-op 12 months ago. Sorting through their finances posed problems, but they now think they're on track. We're hoping by the end of the year to be paying full wages and then to be able to use any surplus that we generate from reverse garbage to fund environmental education work. Queenslanders have embraced the idea. Reverse garbage does a steady trade. Looking for a cash register, bathroom tiles, things you never knew you wanted until you spotted them. They're all here. Or try rubbish as fashion, as designer Miss Wendy did to celebrate the co-op's first birthday. All rubbish as art, furniture, clocks and sculptures customers made from their purchases are also on show. But underlying the creativity, a serious message about the underbelly of our consumer society. We, we have a strong environmental ethic, I guess. We, we're trying to stop those materials going to landfill, but also really trying to encourage people to think creatively about the way that we use resources, because um, we really need to seriously shift the, uh, change the way that we use resources in our society, because there's a whole range of associated environmental impacts that are caused by our high consumption of resources.